hello welcome to another video on this channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to scrape any website and use the information from the script website to create highly personalized emails that you can use in your code uh, outreach let's get into it all right so uh this particular workflow is a very simple one and we're going to go through this real quick real quick all right, so we have an HTTP node here that we use to fetch all the HTML information of this particular website. This is just a random website I found when scraping Apollo. It looks like it's a digital agency. All right, so I'll run this workflow and then I'll run you through how each of these works. All right, let's go through now. So the HTTP node right here, it gets all the HTTP of this particular page, a whole bunch. So that's why we'll be using the code node to strip out all the HTML tags, clean it out so it will be fit to use for the LLM and uh, won't get any issue when using that. And then right here, this particular OpenAI node is used to retrieve the generating activities, revenue generating activities of this particular. Uh, all right, so we'll be messaging a model here, and the model we are using is the GPT-40 Mini. So right here, we have two prompts, which I'll be using, and uh, we have the system prompt and the user prompt. And then finally, we'll be passing in the text we got from the, from the code node right into this. All right, so as you can see, the system prompt is just giving it a context, what it's going to be doing for us. So, it's a business analyst specializing in identifying key revenue drivers for the company. You may be asking, why do we need to scrape all of this from a particular website? So when this is just part of lead enrichment activities and uh, when sending code emails, I can say the only thing you know about a particular person is probably the, uh, the name, their email address, the company where they work and maybe some other information. But if you send a random generic email based on this basic information, I can bet you the email might not even be open at all. But if you at least get all this particular information from the website, and then you can use that to craft an email opener or a first liner that you can use that will be particularly, you know, catchy. And then you can use maybe uh, you can use that and probably the email will get open and you have great success in your email campaigns. All right, so right here, let me go back again to this particular prompt. So uh, all what this does is that it analyzes different ways the company generates revenue, and then as you can see, we check what the pricing models are, the source, the main source of income, what is the customer pain point. What are the features? What is their CTA? And yeah, based on and some other things like that. All right. So let me show you the results that we have here. So it says after analyzing the Jelly Code website, we got a whole bunch of information. And yeah. All right. So let me show you the Jelly Code website also. Uh, it looks like it's a AI digital agency. And yeah. So we're getting all the information on this particular page. And this works nice. So uh, moving on to the next OpenAI node. Uh, this is the is the node uh, that retrieves the case study, the success story, and the testimonials. Like I said, if you put if you use all this to craft a first liner for your email to make it feel highly personalized, perhaps the person might be willing to open and even reply you because it's going to feel like you know they've known you for quite a while because it's highly personalized it's not generic hi this is our service can you check us out or something like that no 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 that's a that's a bad email first liner but if you say something like oh i so so person or i can or i jerry or something like that oh i found your website right here and uh, i see that you've been doing some good sales how about you check our service out and then maybe we can help you, you know, just craft it whichever way you want it. And I believe uh, this can help you, right? Because instead of sending something or uh, something generic, you can just create something wonderful with this. All right, let me show you this. So we have two prompts like the previous one. 
So this is just for extracting the success stories, the case studies, and the testimonials. And this is the second prompt, as you can see. So it's going to try and get all these results, outcomes, the client name, and other relevant specific if it's available. But if it's not, we're just going to output now, right here. And yeah, so we can use, this is the output of this, as you can see. The text provided contains one testimonial and uh, the name of the person and the text of that particular testimonial. And this is the last one. I was just playing around with this. Uh, it says here, you're an expert in writing email copies that are highly targeted based on the information from the summarized company webpage. And as you can see on the second prompt, which is the user prompts. Let me expand this so we get to see better. It's something very simple. I'm sure you can improve this and make this uh, way better. So this is just write an email to the CEO of the company based on all the information obtained. You know, I didn't even tell it about what we do, just a random email. And let's see what it comes up with. This is bulky, but it looks interesting. It says exploring opportunities for revenue at this. Okay, dear CEO, I hope this message find you well. I've gathered from Jellicoe's website, particularly regarding the key revenue drivers that you could enhance your strategic initiative. You know, your approach to the website development is commendable, especially in targeting both individuals. This looks nice, even though we, got, we are not giving any specifics in our prompt. So it's just a random prompt that says, write an email to the CEO based on, you know, all the information we gathered from the from the website this looks good but this looks too bulky for a code email sure we want to package the prompt well and probably rewrite it and then use it to suit our purpose so this is it for the video my name is holamide i'm a web scraper and i run a digital agency that is specialized in creating inbound and outbound sales automation systems so in case you're not able to recreate this and send and you know do this replicate it yourself can always reach out to me i have a system for you and we can work it out you can check out the links below in there we you can easily you know or schedule a meeting with me and then we can pick up from there uh, thank you very much i'll see you in the next one bye